Welcome, Cancer. Okay, so happy Mother's Day to those of you who are mums. Um, now, Cancer, we are looking at the next two weeks and how we can help you along this journey. Okay, using the Mystical Journey Oracle cards, the Light Sea is Tarot, but Cancer, we're starting with the Druid Wisdom. Okay. <sighs> So let's have a little look-see and see what comes up for you. Three cards for Cancer here, please. <coughs> well, <coughs> two cards already. There's something here. I'm not seeing the writing yet on these first two cards. Um, there's something here about um, sort of like, I want to show you, I'll quickly show you here without reading the back of it. Okay, there's, for me, I'm getting um, something about there, there's something ha that has ripened, okay? There's something that you, like, like a tree that you've planted and, and the fruit is, is ready to be harvested, okay? Um, but there's actually something about needing to climb to heights in order to harvest the fruit Okay, that's the first thing. The next one is this is something about you reflecting. Whether it's reflecting on your past or reflecting on yourself right now, okay, and seeing, seeing the real truth of who you are, okay, and um, I'm sort of being reminded of the Lion King there when Simba looks in the water and sees his dad talking to him. And I just kind of wonder if this is about you recognising the ancestors within you, um, but not just that, um, understanding that you are the ancestors, right? Because we've had so many lifetimes um, that... We are the ancestors now. So calling that back in. But anyhow, the last card here is called Well of Memories. Okay, that landed upside down. So yeah, but anyhow, let me read these cards to you. Okay, so the first one is Avalon Apples. Okay, so line your seeds of passions up row by row. Time moves differently when you nurture what you love to grow. Love it. And it says, meditate with Ruby Zoysight uh, to awaken the heart's yearning. Ruby Zoysight. It's spelt Z-O-I-S-I-T-E. Meditate with that to awaken the heart's yearning. Okay, so next card here. Mirror visions. You are dreaming. Oh, sorry. Are you dreaming or awake? There is more to reality than the one we are taught to take. Are you dreaming or awake? There is more to reality than the one we are taught to take. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like this, it's necessary to start leading from your heart. Okay, so it says add a small dash of mugwort or mint to your tea for lucid dreams. Interesting, there might be some answers there for you or maybe not answers necessarily but um, information. Okay, and well of memories here. Remember the wise witches whose lives were cruelly ceased? Their spells linger in Edinburgh as the morning dawns peace. Carry chrysoprase for forgiveness and release. I'll spell that for you. C-H-R-Y-S-O-P-R-A-S-E. Okay, right, so let's get on with that cancer. <clears throat> we'll see what comes up here. Right. We've got Divine Being. Oh, yes, Cancer. 
that you are, that you are. And, and what I feel like here is that there's going to be all sorts of downloads. So if you can get into this lucid dreaming state, you're going to receive information that you will be able to share with the world. Okay, so make sure you keep a journal by your bed so you can jot down anything in your dreams. The other thing I want to mention about this, though, is just be also aware of your daydreams. And when you're meditating, because hopefully you are all doing that, if you're not, it's time to start. You will receive downloads then too. Okay, if, if, it, if it's the case that, um, because I feel like there's something about your DNA, it's changing. You are receiving a, a massive upgrade cancer. How exciting. Um, yeah, uh, I was going to say, if you're not remembering your dreams, it's okay because the changes that need to be made are being made. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to remember everything. If that is happening, then don't stress about that. Okay, just, just allow it. But I think you'll start to sort of see things differently okay kind of through different eyes you're going to become more aware um yeah tell me more about divine being for cancer please tell me more about this oh that went flying it's upside down keep the cards there oh my gosh <laughs> okay one more card for divine being for cancer please and then i'll pick the other one up thank you Okay, so just bear with me here, Cancer. I picked it up and was talking to you and I hadn't even pressed um, play back on the video. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Cancer. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Wands that landed on the floor here. And um, there's, this, there's this magic inside of you, right? This fire inside of you, this passion because look at her here she's lit in all these candles around her here with the fire that is within her she doesn't need a match it's in her okay and I feel like this is the case for you okay it's kind of like anything that you want to do or anything that you want to achieve it's already there it's just a matter of being reminded, okay? So you might be learning different things and you think you're learning these different things, but you're actually being reminded of them, Cancer, okay? It's already there. And we also have the sun, which is an absolutely amazing card. And, um, you know, this is, this is happiness and um, loads of fun and, and enjoying everything. Like, this is... Honestly, this is the happiest card you can get. But what I love is we've got two, you know, two cards here that have this fire, yeah? And the fire representing passion. And I feel as though there's something about you receiving information not just at night time but during the daytime as well so this like I said before this could very well be daydreaming okay but um I feel like it's real would be really cool for you to actually sit in the sun and soak up the rays okay there's something in that for you cancer um <clears throat> I feel like that that could very well, you could receive downloads when you do that. Okay, so let's have a look at what else is the story here for your cancer. See, with Avalon apples as well, right? When we're talking about passion, line your seeds of passion up row by row. Time moves differently when you nurture what you grow. Okay, and do you know what? Nurturing yourself is also super important for you. Okay, Cancer. So, also, the sun, the apples can't grow without the sun, right? Um, and so, it's it's a necessary part of um, this growth for you. Okay, the cards are not doing what I want them to do, but we have had one flip out. I'm trying to shuffle them, and it's just not working. B, 
being bound being bound cancer ah so is there something holding you back from what it is that you truly want to do what is going on here and when we look at the mirror visions right are you dreaming or awake there is more to re reality than the one we are taught to take Ah, so is, is, you know, is this a matter of you needing to go back through everything that you've been taught, Cancer, and really see if that, um, what that means to you now, you know, because there could be things that, haha, <laughs> three of swords, there could be things that have um, been taught to you that are holding you back. For example, um, Over in, oh, uh, where is it? I don't know if it's, there's, there's, there's a country over in Asia. I can't remember the name of it, sorry. But there's a country over in Asia that um, believe death is a good thing. Okay, they um, understand that it's the soul taking the next part of its journey. Okay, and they have a period of time, maybe two days, three days, where they cry and um and then but also celebrate they celebrate this person's transition they see it as a really positive thing so they don't grieve the way the majority of people do okay um so this could be something that you look at what is it that you've been taught you know is there something that you've been grieving um or being taught that this this thing is really really bad and um you should be super upset or whatever and you're actually stuck by your beliefs okay i feel like this is being bound by your belief system here cancer okay and and it's causing you heartache and it's causing you to not be able to necessarily move forward with what it is uh, along the path that is destined for you Okay, um, you know, it's like divine being, you know, this could even be cancer that um, there's, okay, I'm getting a couple of things here. First off, it could be that um, that not, not ever being taught about this divine being and, and you being this divine being and, and having the opportunity or not the opportunity, but the ability to get the downloads um, that could be causing you heartache because for some of you, you feel like you don't fit into this entire world. And so this could be something that um, is, is causing you real heartache, okay, um, and anguish and pain, all right. Um, the other thing for some of you is that there's been a situation where you have been heartbroken and, um, and it's kept you kept you bound up and, and it's stopping you from moving forward, okay? Um, it could also be that some of you are in a relationship that may not be the best for you, okay? Um, yeah. The magician has also come up. So this here, this is about you being resourceful, right? taking inspired action taking the action that you need to take in order to um in order to honor the divine being that you are okay because these are just this three swords here it's really interesting i i do actually wonder for some of you that um this is something that along this journey you are, are moving past by immersing yourself in the divine of yourself okay um self-realization here we go yeah this is you waking up to you it's sort of like i feel like this person here has come to the end of this road here right and it's like they are here meeting some sort of angelic being or master okay some sort of higher power um, and, and I feel like this is you here, Cancer, 
but I also feel like this is also you, okay? And I, I wonder if this is a matter of you honoring yourself, like I feel like I've already said that. I think I, or I have. This is you honoring yourself and understand, oh, there's another person standing over there too. See there? Ah, never ever seen that in this card. So, um, see, that changes it for me. Now, I feel like this is you. There's, there's a break in the path here. So it's sort of like going, how do I get over here? How do I go here? And, um, and you magically make the path appear, right? Because at the end of the day, the path is not necessary here, Cancer, because this is you. Um, you don't need to get to that. It already is there, okay? And so I think this is understanding this. It's, um, yeah, I hope that makes sense because I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, it's sort of like this path that you're traveling. It's as though there's this idea that there's a destination to reach. But what you're actually um, trying to reach is within you already. Okay, so let's have a look. Self-realization. Tell me more about self-realization, please. Seven of Swords and the Wheel. Yeah. Um, Self-realization here. Sorry, Cancer, there's... I feel like there's been something that's been taken from you. Um, but it's... What is this? What is this? Make this clear, please. It's something that you've... It's as though there's been a situation where something's been taken from you, but you allowed it to be taken, if you like. And that's not to say you're responsible for anything that has bad, that has been done to you. But I feel like some of you feel like you're powerless. I feel like some of you don't feel like you have control over a particular situation, okay? Um, with the, we've got the wheel here as well. And I just wonder if that's about to change for you. And you're really about to step into this power of who you truly are. Okay. And um, claim back those parts of yourself that have been taken from you. Um, or maybe there's been a situation where you've given your power away because it was just easier um, to do that than to deal with People who are not so nice. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Mm. I love this. This is after self-realization, right? See, we've got well of memories here as well. Sorry. It's all over the shop right now. Well of memories. Remember the wise witches whose lives were cruelly ceased. Their spells linger in Edinburgh as the morning dawns peace. So something unfair, something really, really, really unfair happened for you, okay? But I do feel like things are turning around for you, okay? There's life review here. So this could be a matter of you going back through your life, okay? And looking at certain circumstances and where, where it is that you can bring back your power from, Okay, um, the other thing about this is I want to say, Cancer, that to anyone who has hurt you in any shape or form, there will be a life review. 
of how they have handled things throughout their lifetime as well. So it's sort of like you may feel like someone's got away with something, um, but they are being watched, okay? So know that, Cancer. So tell me more about life for a view for Cancer, please. Tell me more about this. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, actually, no, sorry, Cancer, I'm going to do that again because four cards came out. And I then got confused as to which ones that's two. Okay, sweet. I got confused as to which ones I should take. Okay, so we've got the Hermit here. And we've got three of pentacles. <clears throat> so there's, there's been a journey that you've traveled here, Cancer. And um, some of you have traveled it. Well, actually, you've traveled it alone. And I'm seeing this in the life review as well. Um, and I feel as though you've, through this journey, and it could be that, you know, some of you are still on this journey of this self-discovery, and, um, and because there's this path, and what I really love about this, so there's this path here, right, and this person is up here actually levitating above the land, okay, they're levitating because they're tapping into their inner magician and allowing this light to shine, right? It's sort of like channeling the sun here and it's allowing them to travel in a different direction. Okay, so that reminds me of um, this mirror visions here, right? And it's saying, you know, there is more to reality than the one we taught, we are taught to take. Okay, this is you taking your own path. This is you creating your own path with your, um, you, you know, with this Queen of Wands energy that resides within you here, Cancer. Okay, so I love that, all right? And I feel like this is the progress that you're going to start to see and other people are going to start to see this progress that you are making, that you have made, okay? Um, and you're going to start to see how um how it all ties in together type of thing okay so let's get two more cards here or one card whatever wants to come out right now okay one yep shadow work yes looking at those parts of yourself cancer that you don't want anyone to see well, not even that you don't want anyone to see, that actually you don't want to see, right? Those parts of yourself, yourself that was caused by this and potentially even this. Okay, so it's sort of like, you know, cancers, there could very well be that someone's done the real dirty on you and this has held you back. And this needing to go on this journey of this self-discovery, right? Looking at your life realizing who the heck you are and um and really owning that standing in that power yeah um yeah and doing that dark work that is required around that so let's have a look shadow work tell me more about shadow work oh death and rebirth wow right this is this is exactly what shadow work you know represents is this dark night of the soul like you've you've died and you've been reborn you know all in the same lifetime and this can happen a number of times during one lifetime right and um and i really feel like cancer though i feel like this time is different because i feel as though you're starting to see the light within yourself you're starting to understand actually the divine being that you truly are. I can't even get the card. <laughs> I'm like trying to pick it up to back my story out there. And hello, come on. Um, you know, <laughs> this is this is truly you. Yeah. Um, and, and you truly seeing that, but not just seeing that, but letting that shine for everyone to see. Okay, and we have the chariot here. Look at this moving forward, full steam ahead. Giddy up. Cancer, giddy up, right? Moving full steam ahead. I absolutely love this. Um, I I I want to say here that you know this is you being being determined to 
you know, it, it could even be that you don't really know where you're going to end up, but you're moving forward. And as you move forward, you gain momentum because as you start to understand who you really are, you, you're like, now nah, I want more of this, please. More of this, please. So, yeah, I love this, Cancer. Okay, so one more card for Cancer, please. You know, and that shadow work as well, that could be the um, well of memories, you know, and remembering these things that absolutely cut you down. Okay, that was two cards, so we only want one. Um, so this is something that um, can be, you know, it can be tough, but it's also very necessary for you to heal any traumas within you, okay? Um, either from this lifetime, some of you may have very well been those witches in a past life, okay? Um, so this could be something that has stuck with you throughout lifetimes, and there could be some kind of, you know, like sometimes if we have a block and we don't know why we have it and we can't pinpoint it, it could be from a past life, okay? So still, still honour those traumas, and heal them, okay, because if that's resonating for you, Cancer, you're going to go, oh yeah, totally, that was me, okay, so this is something that is very important for you to, um, to still heal those traumas, okay, and we have, last but not least, New Dawn, wow, this is amazing, amazing, this is the beginning of a whole new, oh, I feel feel like a whole new life but in one lifetime you know it used to be that we would have one lifetime right now it's as though we live a number of lifetimes in one life and it's it can be pretty exhausting um but I feel like this is you starting a new life in a sense bringing out the things within you that have been submerged in the muddy waters for so long that um, you're now bringing it out, but you're bringing it out with flair, <laughs> you know. Um, I love this. I absolutely adore this, Cancer. Okay, so tell me more about New Dawn for Cancer, please. Two cards. <clears throat> Two cards for New Dawn for Cancer. Page of Pentacles, right, and Four of Swords. Yeah, this is you. This is you. Actually, I feel like this is you learning about this turning of the wheel, to be honest. You know, it's like, okay, so how, let me try different things. Look at them. They're standing in the same position as well, right? Let me try this. Um, what's this going to do? You know, um, how is this going to work for me? This is you trying out new things. This could be the beginning of um, a new career. This is you learning new things, but not just learning new things, actually absorbing those things. Okay, and I want to say with the Four of Swords that there's going to be times where you're going to need to rest to allow any information to be absorbed by you, okay, and you're also, also going to need this, because this is, this, while it's exciting, Cancer, it's also um, quite an exhausting journey to travel, because there's so much that comes up, right, you've got, you've got this, these highs, and you've got these real low lows, and, um, and there's, there's this time for rest, there's a time for learning, there's a time for celebration, there's a time for, you know, reflection, right? There's all these, these things, there's all these um, different aspects to this journey that need to be incorporated into one lifetime, you know, and if we're doing this in an a number of times throughout our lifetime, it can get exhausting. Okay, so make sure that you give yourself time to rest and rejuvenate, okay, because this is 
absolutely necessary. Um, but I do feel like also this new dawn is coming about after this rest and relaxation, after this you know, this reflection, the soul reflection, okay, um, and now you're, it's sort of like you've um, designed this coin here, and you've developed it, and now you're like, okay, so now what, okay, um, so yeah, this is awesome, I'm really excited for you here, Cancer, so yeah, um, that's it, I'll leave that with you, take care of your beautiful selves, see you, bye-bye.